stand back at least a hundred feet before you spray it. Just a bad thing. Hey all and welcome to the video and thank you guys so much for watching and thank you for joining me today to see my everyday glowy skin makeup routine. I decided to do this video because so many people have asked about my skin. They have said that I am so glowy looking lately and I thought you know what I'm gonna sit down and do my makeup for you guys and show you the products that I use to achieve this glowy skin look. So I hope that you enjoy. If you do enjoy then definitely give this video a big thumbs up but don't forget to subscribe. It would mean so much, especially because I've noticed in my analytics that over half of my viewers are not even subscribed. So if you're already viewing this video, if you would do me the honor and hit the subscribe button, it would melt my heart. Also, before we get started, I do want to mention that the eye look is a completely separate video. So if you want to see this eye look, I will have it linked below when it's ready. I'm using the new Juvia's Place of Vanessa X Juvia's Place palette. It's absolutely gorgeous. So you definitely should check it out. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the video. So first, step we're just going to apply this moonshine miracle cream from Juno and Co. This is a moisturizing cream also a primer. I love it so much. You can actually save some money if you use my code if you buy it. I'm not just saying that. I actually genuinely love this. It's so good and I really haven't used a primer other than this since I got it months ago. Months ago and I'm almost out of this. Like it's ridiculous but this is so good. Now as you've seen time and time again I'm just going to make my Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation and my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation. And this is in the shade um, Neutral number three. And then this is an F3. Honestly, I feel like depending on what tool you use for your foundation is what's going to really make your makeup look really good. Like I used to use a sponge and I thought my makeup was so nice. And then I used a makeup brush and I was like, oh, I hate this. Well, I went back to the sponge and I was just like, yeah, this is so much better than a brush until I found the right kind of brushes. And now I could never go back to a sponge ever. Like using a brush just makes your skin look flawless and just airbrushed versus a sponge, which you use more product because it soaks in and this you can just perfect. And I just like to keep on going until it's all the way blended and it looks perfect. The right kind of tools, especially if they're good quality, is key, honestly. Now, since the foundation is now perfect, I'm going in with the Dandelion Shy Beam from Benefit. I love this. By the way, I am going to have everything linked below if you are curious. So this is almost like a color corrector because it's this peach tone, uh, but it's also like a liquid highlighter. So it really brightens up your under eye. So I like to use this. And then again with a brush, I just like to blend it under my eye. Next product before we do concealer is something I never expected to love and use in my everyday makeup routine. This is the Ciate London Dewy Stick. And let me just tell you, I got this in, I think a BoxyCharm and I was like, ew, this is gross. It's oily, it's nasty. I love this stuff so much. So I've been using it over my foundation before concealer. So I like to apply it just under the eyes. I like to apply it where I'm gonna highlight. I do a little number up here, little number up here up my nose, chin, and a little bit on the cupid's bow. And then I'll just kind of pat it in with my fingers. And what I really, really like about this, and I will show you that it still beams through your powder when you set your face. And that's what I love. So it still gives that dewy effect, but also setting your face. Cause usually if you have any kind of dewy product and you set it, it mattifies it. So this does not make that happen. So now I'm going to take the Too Faced to Born This Way concealer. I use the shade Swan and I'm just going to do my normal conceal where I like to conceal and using the same concealer brush, I'm just going to blend it 
it in and I'm just going to pretty much skip this process like most processes because I mean you don't need to see me blend for like 20 minutes so yeah we'll just skip on to the next step. See how my face is just really really glowy and I'm not using like any really crazy products or anything like that or certain primers that are glowy that can just break down the foundation and this is glowy. Okay so now I'm going to go in with this. You can use any powder really it doesn't matter but this is the Tarte Translucent Setting Powder. I'm using this because I really like the puff that comes in here with the net and then I just press and I get the powder. So I just set my face. And see how glowy my skin still is? Like, that's insane. Do you see how my skin is still, like, really freaking glowy? That's what we want. Okay, now I'm going to take the Natasha Denona Glow Powder. And I'm just going to run that a little bit on my cheekbones, my chin, and up here. That's all I'm going to do. And it really just brings out some more glow. So quickly, I'm just going to bronze my face. We don't need to see that. That's not a part of the steps. Any bronzer is going to work for you. This is the Strat Silbury. Uh, what is this called? Film Star Bronze and Glow Face and Sculpt Highlight. I'm just going to bronze my face really quick. Now I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty Melting Cream Blush that just came out. I have a full review down below. Um, this one I'm using is Nearly Apricot. I just bought this after my first impression review and obviously I needed another shade. So the other shade's Nearly Neutral. I tried out the lip gloss and I think that's it. I tried something else but I don't remember. Oh the liquid blush. The liquid blush versus this. This is by far the best. It melts into the skin. It's so beautiful. It's so perfect. So I picked up another, I picked up another shade and this is nearly apricot so I didn't review this one so now you're kind of seeing it in person so this is such a beautiful natural blush and I just like this one for what I'm going to be doing in my next video which is an eyeshadow look on the brand new Juvia's Place palette. It's the Vanessa X Juvia's Place palette so I'm not going to do that in this video but I will quickly take a little break, film that video and come back to show you a final result. So if you guys want to see that palette then definitely click the link down below because it'll be there when the video's up um, and you can watch that video. But look at how how beautiful this blush is then it just really really helps with the whole like glowiness of what situation I'm trying to have the glowy situation but yeah beautiful honestly cream products as you can tell are kind of like what make this such a beautiful glowy look so I'm just gonna finish this and then I will show you the highlighter that I will be using today so I want to mention the liquid and cream highlighter that I've been loving and wearing non-stop lately this is the Charlotte Tilbury what is this called beauty light wand easy highlighter. I've been using this a ton. I got it in a Charlotte Tilbury mystery box which was fantastic but I've also been using these hourglass ones a ton. I recently used the pink flash in one of my last product reviews which was the All of Be Forever Violet Boss palette. So I've already used the pink one. This is not going to be a pink look so I'm either going to use champagne flash or gold flash. Let me see. I don't know which one I want to use today. So this is champagne flash. I think this is the one I'm going to use today actually. So I just use my finger to apply it and it's just so beautiful and so natural that I just I just can't with this product it's so good I just really like cream products like I'm so excited that I like decided hey I want to try cream products and it's been a game changer a life changer honestly like it's been such a fantastic experience trying out cream products and if you're ever scared of trying cream products don't be because they're actually really fantastic and I also feel like the older and more mature your skin is the better cream products just work you know what I mean like powder when your skin matures and it gets you know older powder products just don't sit on it as good as it used to at least I've noticed I'm only 27 I just turned 27 but I've noticed that powder products just don't lay as good on my skin as they used to and cream products are just so much better and they do just melt into the skin which is why I've been kind of on a cream kick why my face is so glowy I don't know I've just I've been discovering new products I I will have all my recent reviews down below including the new NARS cream blushes which are really really beautiful. Well one of them was not so great but the other one is perfect. I've already used it several times since I reviewed it. So you know we just love cream products. They just give your skin such a beautiful glow. So I'm just going to finish this look off for this video with my favorite lipstick from Becca. This is in the shade Sugar. 
Becca is probably one of my favorite lipstick formulas. It's just so creamy and so buttery that I just can't with anybody, anybody else. Other than Pat McGrath, like they have my second favorite for sure. And this is my glowy skin. So I'm gonna finish like my brows and my eyeshadow and all that. And I will be right back to give you my final thoughts, final product loves that I did on my face today, as well as kind of give you like a sneak peek of the next video for the eyeshadow look that I'm gonna be doing. Um, and also to film my intro, you know, the usual. But anyways, yeah, in a minute you'll be seeing me and I'm gonna look completely different. Okay, so now that my face is fully done, it's time to do the last and final touch to this makeup look just to perfect it to its glowy standards that I give myself. So anyways, this is the Gerard Cosmetics Mystified Hydrating Facial Mist. This just keeps your skin nice and hydrated, nice and just, mm, it just really just melts your makeup together and everything just stays so beautiful and it's just it's something that I always use when I do a glowy face it literally just melts everything together like you guys see what I'm trying to say I forgot I got really excited that it has a very strong spritzer on it so uh stand back at least a hundred feet before you spray it Just a bad thing. Anyways, so this is my glowy skin routine since a lot of you guys have asked about it. I hope that you enjoyed. I have to say my star products is definitely the Rare Beauty Cream Blush. It's so beautiful, so natural, and I love it so much. The Ciate London Dewy, Dewy Stick. This was like just a rare find for me that I cannot live without now. And of course, the Hourglass Cream Highlighter. If it isn't for these three products, and then this. <laughs> uh, this look wouldn't be as beautiful as it is right now. So, um, yeah, I'll have everything linked below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And um, let me know your thoughts. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.